BSO2 New Genesis is arguably one of the best looking free to play anime MMORPGs on the market. I'd covered New Genesis quite extensively over the last couple years, and have been happy watching the game slowly grow in scale, introducing new classes, new regions, new expansions to content. I have been an active player and fan of PSL2 for years, having grown up on the Fantasy Star JRPGs. This entire intellectual property is special to me, which is why when Sega decided to reach out to me, in an effort to sponsor a video where I showcase their brand new update, I jumped at the opportunity. The update in question, version 2, launched on June 7th along with a new feature called the Creative Space, where players are capable of building anything they can imagine and participate in unique community created content with up to 100 players in total. If you've been putting off playing PSO2 New Genesis or waiting to return for any reason, this update should be the opportunity you take to download and try the game out, specifically via my link in the description in the pinned comment below. PSO2 New Genesis is a fully cross-platform, free-to-play MMORPG. What this means is that you're completely capable of playing with other players on PC, on Xbox, and the PlayStation platforms, allowing for a significantly larger player base audience. Beyond that, players can use their character to navigate between both PSO2 New Genesis and the base PSO2 game. This was one of PSO2 New Genesis' key selling points, the seamless transition between two different yet connected game worlds, allowing for us to play two different storylines with two different styles of gameplay and progression with the same character. Sega have released numerous updates for both PSO2 and PSO2 New Genesis over the years they have been actively available, introducing new classes like the most recent Slayer, or entirely new areas like the new Steer region. Version 2 looks as though it's going to be one of their largest updates to date, and I'm excited to see what it has to offer. So let's go ahead and first check out the trailer, and then we'll discuss the additions from there. Damn, some of these outfit combinations are, are great. That's one of the best things about PSO2 New Genesis though, the outfits, the costumes. And then the beautiful graphical style and the aesthetics and the areas. Dude, she's she has wings. Oh my god, did I see a nurse? Can we just Wow. All right. Dude, whoever cut this trailer up, whoever edited this trailer deserves a freaking raise. a robot doing the robot <laughs> there's the create space creative space they're terraforming they're creating actual houses mansions man the creations that some people can come up with are crazy Unleash your creativity. Dude, I don't have any creativity. I. Uh, <laughs> man, I would not do well in that environment. See, this is why they're like, hey, Steaks, we want you to cover the update, but what we don't want you to do is actually get in game and create something like a, a house or a village or a spa or church or dig a hole. My creative expression is for lack of a better word, 
looked unexpressive. Now, the creative space took front and center in the trailer, and for good reason. Creative spaces are going to provide players, specifically the more creative players, thus the name I'm assuming, the ability to craft some truly incredible content for other players to consume. On the one hand, we're capable of crafting our very own home, fully emulated player housing and with much greater control than your average MMO, but you're capable of doing so much more, not wanting their players to be hindered by the constraints of creation that were so often limited by, Sega opted to implement trigger items, which allow for you to add unique gameplay elements to your tentatively titled creative space as it were. Within this instant space, players are given complete creative freedom. You can place down items, you can rotate them, you can resize them both in terms of width and height. As an example, you can place down a door or a, a, a mat or rug. You can expand it vertically or horizontally. You can make it thinner or thicker. Immense levels of freedom is given. You can alternate between free movement or allow for the items to snap into place connecting with one another. Construction and alteration isn't limited to just the buildings you can place down, however. As was seen in the trailer, you can also terraform the foundation of your space, allowing you to have mountainous terrain, hot springs, or like I noted, just dig a hole. Yeah, in retrospect, I'm not very good at this. This is why whenever Mrs. Dix and I play simulation games, survival games, she's in charge of building the house while I go out and gather like rocks and sticks. The triggers I was referring to earlier and that I noted at the beginning of this video allow for a significantly further expansion to the uniqueness and depth of your creative space. Triggers allow for you to add unique mechanisms to certain objects like opening and closing a door, sitting down on a bench or chair, even when walking over or through an object that initiate an event or interaction. The sheer depth that creative spaces allow for in terms of the creation of endless content is unparalleled. Thankfully, this grandiose journey needn't be taken alone, as you can invite 11 other people, hopefully your friends, to freely build within your space. In addition to the creative spaces, however, we have the introduction of new cel-shaded visual effects, hologram effects. PSO2 and New Genesis both have always had a pretty extensive character creator, allowing for some of the best looking anime characters in the entire MMO genre. But these additions present even further opportunities for players to customize an already sprawling selection of customization options. Overall, PSO2 New Genesis is an MMO that I've enjoyed on numerous occasions. It's an anime MMO that I think genuinely looks fantastic and plays even better. And if any of this sounds even remotely interesting to you, I urge you to once again go ahead and click that link in the description in the pinned comment below and join me in game.